Bravo, Victor Bravo, Terry Ben Muscoden. Been a ham since 1961. Uh, my primary interest has been VHF for the last 30 years, and two meters, single sideband CW, and now some digital modes on two meters in the last five, six years. Um, this station is set up with one computer, three monitors. Um, this is the main radio over here, which is a software-defined radio. It's uh, made by Flex Radio, model SDR 1000. Uh, and one when we go outside, you'll see uh, a windmill tower with some antennas on it. I have a two-meter beam, a single beam up there that's eight wavelengths long, which is 55 feet. This is the controller for that. Um, then there's a 100-foot tower outside with, this is elevation and azimuth. So we're at 1.1 1 .1 to two, 2 degrees. There's a little bit of wind outside, so it's blowing it around. The azimuth is 97 degrees, and we'll look at that antenna. That's uh, comprised of six 37-foot Yagis uh, with horizontal polarization elements and vertical elements for polarization. So um, I can switch between those two antennas. Uh, the single Yagi gives me 17 dB of gain over a dipole. The uh, EME array, or Earth, Moon, Earth, Moon Bounce antenna, gives about 23 dB of gain over a dipole. And then on top of the 100 foot tower is four omnidirectional stacked cloverleafs, they're called. And they give me 9 dB of gain in all directions. So this is the heart of the whole operation right here. This is the screen for the radio that you saw over here. And so this is an S meter up here. This is the baseline. Uh, if I switch over to, there's some 2 meter beacons down by Chicago. We can see the blip on the screen. Now I'm going to turn the, uh, this is on the uh, single Yagi, and this is the S meter. The antenna is turning, you see a little bit of feedback from the uh, rotor. So we're seeing a, a 2 meter beacon, 7 watts of power in Chicago, and it's uh, S6 here on the meter. S5 to S6. So the antenna setup is uh, very um, uh, sharp and very uh, sensitive on receive. Uh, we had some major solar flares here in the last two days and the uh, charged particles have been coming to the earth. These are government sites uh, SCC is a space environmental center out of Boulder, Colorado. They put a website up and this is looking from a satellite onto the North Pole and the United States is down here and the most of the red is on the other side of the Earth. This red bar says where the Sun is hitting the Earth and so the aurora is on the back side of the Earth at all times and uh, this is very strong. The level on the Right, uh, the left hand side says it's at a 9, the highest it can get is a 10. Um, so HF people would be very upset now because this solar radiation storm is absorbing all the signals on HF. VHF we have fun, we can start getting contacts up to 1500 miles away. This is the K mostly. index from September 9th through September 11th, Not this will be the 12th over here. So they try to show one, two, three days. And for HF people, yellow means the solar activity is starting to build up. And this is live. This isn't recorded. This is what we're looking at today. Uh, the K index, the maximum it can get to is a 9. It hit a 9. These are uh, 8s here. This is a 7. And these are all 6s, which are very high geomagnetic disturbing disturbances.